Hi, I was a victim of a crime a few months back, and I just wanted to let you know up front that I just had some, some different things that have been going on over a year, and it's been difficult for me between being unemployed, well, who isn't unemployed right now, and just other personal circumstances that have come up over the past year. Um, that's why I look the way I look right now. Like I said, I was a victim of a crime on more than one occasion, and it was a hacking scheme. I, the FBI got involved. It started off with, for example, one of my relatives um, had surgery. I went to help them, and thank goodness they're doing fine, but they almost died on more than one occasion in a very short time. Then I come back, and I had to deal with other personal matters. My cable completely shot not once but multiple occasions and then when I tried to cut the line they said that I owed more than I actually did it's a long story but then I got a ticket way back when um and it was because I was going to the doctor's office I had parked there before got the okay from the police that everything would be fine and then I got a ticket in my car I went to the courthouse and they said we can't do this right now because of the pandemic. So you're gonna have to deal with this at some point, whenever. Then I ended up getting rear-ended right before the holidays. And I was fine there, but it's just my car is getting fixed and it's just been a pain. I understand that other people are much more, more in need of just help than I am, but I just feel like different things keep happening. And I didn't tell you that I, when I was hacked, um, mostly it was just because I was trying to apply for a job and it was through an app on my phone. And the police said that I was a victim of a crime and it had to go through the FBI. So just can't really get a break with life. And it's been difficult for me. So the point where I really don't trust anybody, it's just been difficult. I think I said difficult three times, but anyway. So I've never borrowed money from anybody. I've always been a saver. I've never had kids, never got married. I've never had a drug problem, never had a substance abuse problem. Let's see, I never, I think I mentioned, but sorry if I am repeating myself. Never been in jail, no record, clean accents, free and everything. So that's kind of it. Oh yes, I also am dyslexic and I have anxiety. I love to wear a mask or a shield at work, but they say no. So I feel like I just can't get a break. If I could get a job, that would be wonderful, even if it means going across the country or even overseas, as long as my expenses are covered. I'm skies are the limit in case for me. So that's kind of me in short. Sorry if I'm rambling, but the anxiety, I blame it on that. I've gone to agencies and everything, but they just say, don't call us, we'll call you. I have tried every area, but no can do. So if you can help me at all, that's great. Um, I'm hoping to have good luck, even though it's somewhat the beginning of the year. I'm really hoping. I am healthy, I have to say that, which is great. And um, thank you for taking the time to watch this video and stay well.